What's up guys? How's it going? I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are. Now today, I'm going to be sharing with you an excellent beard trimmer tutorial for if you only have a pair of scissors to hand. Because I know a lot of the time, you know, you're out there, you're at your girlfriend's house, you're out traveling, you don't want to carry a bulky trimmer around with you. And no matter where you go, you know it's always a risk going to the barber and asking for a beard trim because these guys, a lot of them, they still haven't got with the program. They still don't understand how to get the beard in shape properly, you know. They'll be going all around with the number one or the number four or whatever, all one length. And that's the wrong way to do it. Now, today, all you're going to need, all I'm going to need to show you is with a pair of scissors. A comb is optional. It works. You can use your fingers, but a comb works better and st your standard razor. I'm going to start off just with a dry shave here and uh, I'm just going to do the cheeks and I like to go on a straight line for the cheeks here. This is a follow-up video from my previous beard, tr beard trimming tutorial because like I said you guys don't always have clippers at hand maybe you don't like clippers you know uh, they can be very risky if you're new to this because they, you know, one slip of the hand and you've gone straight through the beard. And that is pretty dangerous if you're trying to grow a beard. It can, it can set you back weeks, if not months of growth. So, you got to take this stuff seriously if you want to, want to keep your beard on point. So, I'm just doing my regular shaving routine here. Do the neck in a straight line where the under chin meets the neck here. There you go. Get the neck clean because it doesn't look good, guys, if you've got like all this neck beard, all this beard coming up the face all scraggly and stuff. You want to have the hair in the right place. Now, I know this beard is out of shape right now because I actually haven't trimmed this in two weeks, especially for this demonstration for you guys. So you better count yourselves lucky that I put myself through this and not keep my beard in shape for two weeks. Okay, uh, and this is all for you. All for your benefit. So, got all the neck beard out of the way. So, I'm gonna start from the beginning. I'm gonna you get take my comb, and you just wanna you wanna comb the whole lot down in one direction. So you got all the full length of the hairs down into one place, and then you're gonna comb under, cook, scoop all the way from that line that you shave to, then you're gonna bring it forward. So underneath. And what you're doing here is you're actually creating a point at which the hairs from underneath and the hairs from the top meet along your jawline. Okay, so right, we've got this combed into shape now, ready for a trim. Now the mustache is looking long. Now for me, that's much too long. Some of you guys, you might want to trim the mustache and actually wax it every day and bring it out. You can do that. But for me, it's high maintenance. I'm, uh, I'm just going to keep it down to the, the lip line. So I'm combing the whole lot down. And I'm just going to gently use the flat edge of the scissors. I don't want to see any of you guys going in with a tip trying to snip snip. Because what you're going to do is, you, it's going to look choppy. It's not looking to look clean. You're going to use the flat edge of the scissors. And you're just going to go in and you're going to trim along the lip line. Now, don't cut yourself, guys. You've got to have a steady hand for this. It's just like a, like a lady's fringe or when you got bangs. You know, snip with the straight edge of the scissors. Now, it really doesn't matter too much which scissors you use, but I like to use these cheap scissors that I got. I got them free with a wall clipper set. No, was it? No, it was a babyliss clipper set. And these were free, so these work just fine. I'm sure you know they won't last as long as some high-end professional scissors, but for me, for my uses, these are perfect. I think when these ones go blunt and they stop working so well, I might invest in some top quality ones to last me a long time. Okay. So once you've done your little trim there, it's gonna go back in with a comb. Make sure you haven't missed any. And you guys, you're going to get some hairs in your in your lips. Doesn't matter. Just get it off. Ooh, get me some of that lemon water on my shaker cup. Ah, healthy. Okay. 
So you may well, you may well notice that I'm stopping at the corner of my mouth. So let's look here. The reason that I'm doing that is because I'm allowing the hairs at the side of the moustache, which start up here, to actually go longer, so the moustache has actually got more length to it. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to I'm doing something different this time. Instead of cutting all this lot to one length and trimming it out here, I'm actually going to use the comb. I'm going to go in, and I'm going to go approximately two inches. Now, I'm just guessing here. You guys can measure it, whatever, but I've got a good eye for distance, so I'm just going to cut all the hairs off and then go in again, make sure there's any none. All right, so now all that's down to one length. And you see how I'm going in straight and pulling it out? It's actually going to get a, a single length all the way down this area here where the hairs lie. And they actually, it lies more neatly. Right. Let's get rid of it here. Now, it's, you've got to be careful not to pick up the rest of your beard when you're doing this. So, yeah, I'm going in. It's about two inches. Yep. I'm doing this with my secondary hand, so it's tricky. But you just got to stick with it. You've got to have persistence, as with all things in life. Don't lose your temper with your beard, guys, otherwise the beard is going to mess with you. Alright, so you got to get it in line. Yep. Nearly there. This is good for your manual dexterity, guys. You're going to learn a lot more about how to uh, operate with... Uh, let's just do a little bit more off there. I'm just doing this by eye now. Just going in with the tip a little bit. I said don't go in with the tip, but you can if you're confident. Just go in with the tip a little bit and just even it up. Right. Okay. So now I'm going to go for the side parts here by your ears. Now, you want to have this whole lot one length. You can, it's quite easy to do with clippers, but I'm going to go about one inch on the whole side here and uh, just snip into that area. And what you're doing is you're putting the, the teeth down onto the skin, you're drawing it out, and you're just snipping in. And you just got to do it by eye. Keep looking for any stat hairs that are standing out, not doing the thing that you want them to do. Okay. There's a little bit, another piece that I just need to trim off here. Just go in gently to the tip. And yeah, you can use your comb, use your fingertips. Either way, it's a... Uh, it's up to you, but you want to just keep going and be patient with it. Now, it takes time. It takes time and effort to maintain a good beard. And you guys, you got to have that dedication. Now, this is this side's going to be easier for me because this is my... It's, I'm using my right hand against the other side, so I'm not having to arc my arm around as much. There we go. Now, my setup here is actually, it's a, it's a mirror tilted and angled at me. So I'm working in the mirror with the camera mounted on the top of the mirror using my gorilla pod. So um, that's uh, it's helping, helping me get a good shot for you guys, right? So you can see everything in detail what I'm doing. Right, so we got all that down to about an inch on the sides here. Let's just have a little look at this piece. This needs a little snip. There we go. Right, so what you do is you bring it out, trim it, then you lay it flat and see if there's any parts that need of any further trimming. Like I've got a couple of loose hairs there. Let me just nick them off. Okay, so now, now for the next part, there's two things you can do. You can either let these parts grow out to the full length of your beard let's see where we're at okay so yeah I'm gonna let this happen right I'm gonna let these parts go down to the full length of my beard right from right from the cheek or you can go in and take a layer out of it by stroking the teeth of your of your comb along your face 
put scoop it under and take them out then you can take that layer and actually trim it now I'm going to just do a little bit of trimming just on these edge bits here just to let it all lie more evenly and not like it's stacking up so it looks a little bit less voluminous <laughs> bushy is the general term uh -huh. so that looks a little bit better um, and I'm just going to go under here I'm estimating about just less than an inch along from the cheek line scooping under with the teeth and then pulling it out yeah so uh, like there's just a few that just need a little bit of even up here for me and uh, it's just all by eye you've got to really learn how your own beard works I've got some sun bleaching on the end of these hairs here due to a little bit of sunshine here so which is good although it does go ginger <laughs> uh, I've got a bit of uh, ginger ancestry in me right so now it's the third stage I'm gonna go into and under the front side of the beard and trim it to length I want to take about a half inch and neaten up the lines I'll, for me what I want is I want a straight line either side similar angles and then a straight line under the lower beard as well so I'm just going to start by combing it to length and this time I'm just combing it to length bringing it in with my fingers and I'm just going to go straight in and do it by eye so I can see that this is uneven there's a there's a lot more length here than there is here so I'm just going to gently go in from here and then start taking a little bit of the volume out of the end here and the human eye is very sensitive to straight lines so you'll be able to see straight away if it's not straight if you just pay close attention right so I've got that straightened up a little bit now I'm going to draw it out again with my fingers see if there's any more parts there's a little part here and here another part there yep okay now third times the charm get all those extra hairs out and comb it right right I'm happy with that so I'm gonna to go to the other side do the same thing really simple Now, you see, my hand now has to come in and coil my arm up just to get in there. So it's a little bit trickier on this side. So you just got to take a little bit more care. Again, just using the flat edge of your scissors in line with the line that you're trying to cut. And that way you'll get a nice straight line. Right, let's look at this. Okay, right, we're getting there. Now let's test the lengths on each other. Okay, I can see that this side has a little bit more length than this side, so I'm just going to go in and just gently just knock off some of the ends here. And then I just think I need a little bit more straightening up on this side. Now you don't have to get too anal. All right, okay. We can uh, we can drop that one down in the comment section about you know whether you like anal or not. I don't care, right? So uh, fucking what was I saying? Oh yeah, we don't want to get too diligent about getting it exactly right because we're not perfectionists here. We're just gonna get it good enough so it looks pretty even. Right. Now this time, you know what? I don't think the front part needs a lot of work. I don't want the angular look this time. I think I'm going to try a little bit. Okay, just need a little bit of the length off this side. I've noticed, you'll notice, you guys, once you grow your beard out, some parts of the beard actually grow quicker than others. So if you don't do this trimming part, it'll look really, really untidy quite quickly. You could just say, oh, you know, hair grows at the same rate or whatever. Well, everyone's body's different, you know? You might be a person who's your hair just grows exactly the same rate but that's pretty darn unlikely so uh, let's have a look uh, 
I get this weird thing, guys. Like, I am, like, super mega hairy. My follicles are, like, so thick pretty much everywhere in my body. And I get this thing in my beard where I get, like, three follicles grouped together in one. And they'll grow out as one, like, mega hair. And sometimes I have to pluck them out because they get, they get jammed up. It's crazy. Okay, so... We're pretty much on to the place where we want to be. Now, let's just check for, for styling. So that was the fourth step. I think we're going to go for the fifth step this time in just trimming the backs here. So this under beard, this corners, these corners of the beard here. Because you don't want them to come out and to stick out for no good reason. And I'm just going to use my fingers and just pull them into line. And I'm just going to go up towards the ear. And just trim these little bits off. And go in with the fingers again. Check to see if there's anything. There we go. Alright, next side. Now, the great thing about using little scissors is that these things aren't going to do too much damage if you get the cut wrong. If you've got some full length scissors and you snip, you could snip a whole lot more hair if you make a mistake. Alright, okay. I think we're pretty much onto the place that I want to be. Okay. Alright, I'm going to style it up. Okay, I've got a range of styling products for the beard. My girlfriend, bless her soul, made me this homemade beeswax beard wax so it works pretty awesome pretty darn well so I'm going to be using this one today I've got a variety of other beard waxes there are other beard waxes available on the market um, and this is really important to use some sort of conditioning agent after you've trimmed the beard otherwise the vulnerable hair, hair tips can split easily and the beard's not going to be in such good condition so you just want to get it rubbed into your fingertips. Don't let it, don't let it sort of cl clump up too much, because it tends to want to do that. Now beeswax is actually really good for making your beard look thicker, because over time it actually permeates the hair and lets the hair grow a little tiny bit thicker. And if every single one of your beard hairs are slightly thicker. The whole beard is going to look thicker, which is pretty awesome for you guys who um, who don't have such a thick beard. Want to look, want to get a little bit more volume in there. Now I'm just rubbing it right in with with the, all of my hand. Don't be soft with it. You've got to be pretty rough with it to get it really pressed into the follicles. Use a little bit more there for the under beard. You got to warm this stuff up because it's really tough, right? Let's get it loosened up a little bit. Okay. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's anything you'd like to add, if there's any comments you'd like to make, go down in the comment section. I think there's some links to the uh, to the products that I use for my beard. And also remember to like, dislike, whatever you think about this video, let me know. Now, without further ado, I'm going to finish up here. Have a beautiful day. See you later.